So in this video, I'm going to show you how to add Shopify into the apps that you create via Zappable. So if you have a Shopify store, then this feature is absolutely perfect for you. Even if you don't have a Shopify store, you can still use this to build apps for people who have a Shopify store. So there are absolutely numerous options which you can do. First, we'll just click on add. And then we'll go and edit the feature and I'll show you how it all works. So let's just scroll down. Okay, so page title. That there will be here. So for this first portion, I'm just going to leave it as Shopify. And then I'll call it the golf shop. For all your golfing needs. This is the buy button, so you can have whatever language you want. Then you can choose a cover image or a background color. I'll just select a cover image. And then you'll see your store name. Now for this example, mine is just the golf shop store. And then you'll see .myshopify.com. And if you've set up a Shopify store before, then this will be familiar to you. Then you just need to click on import store. And a pop-up will appear asking you to log in. So just click on log in. If you've already logged in, then this pop if you're already logged into your Shopify store before you start this process, then you won't need to log in here. And then you can see it imports the store. So you can hide categories that you don't want to show. Let me just click on save, update and preview. So then you see your store is now imported and there's a number of things here so all the products that are in your store will now be in your app you can see here we list related products as well so if someone clicks on a related product it will change so you may wonder how these are set well i'll discuss that in just a few seconds but Effectively, everything that you see here is set within Shopify. So you can't edit thumbnails, etc. within Zappable. You need to log into your Shopify account and do that. The exact same for related products. That is based off the tags that you've added to your Shopify products. And if they have a similar tag, then they will show in the related product section. So I'll just log in now and show you. So you can see here, go my Shopify, and then you can see here, it's a collection image, which I have added. So it's all done via Shopify. And then let me just click on one of the products, and then you can see here, tags. So it's whatever tags you set here, and product image as well, will automatically be ported across to your app. Now this store is very generic. Instead of just having one category for golf balls, most stores will have it branded. So it's like Dunlop Tour golf balls, Strixton golf balls, Titleist golf balls, TaylorMade golf balls for their categories. So what you could do is you could add the Shopify store a couple of times. And we'll just click on edit. make it easier and then I could just call this golf balls most popular golf balls add the card for this example I'll just do a background color I'll set it to a green make it slightly transparent a bit more and then I'll click on save. Go back and edit. Well, and the one thing I want to show you, you'll notice here, my browser says pop-ups are blocked. Let me just scroll down so you can see that. You always need to allow. Resapable, done. Then import. And they'll be imported again. And what I can do is I'll just hide, 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 and hide. Now, if I had this setup 
where I had different categories for Dunlop and for Strixton, then I would just leave these in place. This is just an example to show you. We'll click on Save, Update and Preview. We'll go to the next one. Call it Cloven. Golf Cloven. Popular, popular golf fashion. Add the card again. Again, I'll just do a background color. It's slight red. Entry in my store name again. Click on import store. And then it's imported, so I'll just hide, hide, hide. Then I can change my icon. So we can add a new icon to match whatever the title is. If I want, I can change the background color. Let me just show you how this will look. And then you'll see, you'll see here the way I've done my sort of transparent background. And you'll see it only shows one listing, which I've selected for it to choose. Again, I can create collections. So it's all done um, the correct way. Same with clothing. So you can add the Shopify feature as many times as you want. You can use each one to specifically segregate the different areas of your store in your app to make it easy for your users uh, to find what they're looking for. Now, when you incorporate push notifications with this and even coupons, then you can really target your audience with special offers and discounts you're running to encourage them to shop at your store. But just building an app of a Shopify store is great, but if you also go the extra mile and you make the app useful to its members to, or to the users of the app, for example, you could add a directory feature and you could build out a di directory of golf courses and you could set it via state or you could set it via country. You could call it popular golf courses around the world. And then you could show in the United States, in the United Kingdom, in Ireland, in France, in Germany. It all just depends on where your target market is. So not only are they getting the app, not only are they is your store in their app, you're now providing value to them as well, but so they can get GPS locations to various golf courses um, around the world or in the country that they live in. You can email them a golf tips newsletter, you can add videos that will show them how to improve the golf swing. You're turning your app into a valuable resource. So not only are you selling products via your app and using your Shopify store, you're also building out a resource for your users. People who may never have found your store before, they will see your app in the app stores. They will install it on their phone. They will see the information that you're providing, locations to golf courses, videos, and showing people how to improve their swing. And they'll also be able to browse your store. You could be accessing a brand new set of people that before just would not have been possible. So enjoy the Shopify feature. And as always, make sure you leave any comments in the forum and let us know how you're getting on.